How smart people handle difficult people. A popular saying about how we react or respond to situations says that everybody has a hot button. Who is pushing yours? While you probably cannot control that person, you can control the way you react to them. We deal with different people from different cultural backgrounds and locations from time to time. Dealing with these different people can be a little challenging because you are trying to understand how they think and react to some of life's issues. It is even more challenging when you have to deal with difficult people. Dale Kenichi once said that when dealing with people, remember you are not dealing with the creatures of logic, but with creatures of emotions, creatures bristling with prejudice and motivated by pride and vanity. Knowing this will help you understand everyone's differences. But in the case of difficult people, it takes a little more effort. Sharon L. Adda, an inspirational author, said, and I quote, Relationships with negative people are simply tedious encounters with porcupines. You don't have the remote knowledge of how to be close to them without quills being shot in your direction. In this video, I'll share with you how smart people handle difficult people. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. They establish boundaries. In dealing with difficult people, you have to decide rationally about when and where you have to interact with them and when you don't. You should know when and where you can put up with them. Hence, establish boundaries. But you'll have to do so consciously and proactively. Difficult people are the way they are for so many reasons, one of which being that they complain and wallow in their problems and fail to focus on solutions. They want people to join their pity party so that they can feel better about themselves. To avoid this type of energy, it is advisable to set boundaries and limits so that they do not begin to dabble into things that they don't need. If you set boundaries and decide when and where you'll engage a difficult person, you can control much of the chaos instead of allowing it naturally, then it becomes difficult to separate yourself from their troubles. For instance, because you two are working together on a project doesn't mean that you have to become besties or buddies. You can leave things on a professional level to avoid chaos between both of you. 2. They are aware of their emotions. Self-awareness, as defined in psychology today, is that it is the accurate appraisal and understanding of your abilities and preferences and their implications for your behavior and their impact on others. To maintain an emotional distance between you two, you have to be aware of yourself. I mean, how can you stop someone from pressing your buttons when even you do not know where the buttons are? Being self-aware will allow you to acknowledge, understand and account for any internal or external influence that might be a threat to us. 3. They focus more on solutions rather than the problem. Smart people are result-oriented people. They believe in working out a solution no matter how difficult a problem may be. They understand that the more they focus on the problem, the more they get stressed about it. While when they focus on the necessary actions needed to find solutions to a problem, the more they produce positive emotions and reduce stress. When it comes to dealing with difficult people, the more they think about how difficult a person is, the more they stress themselves about the relationship. However, when they focus on trying to find ways to deal with them, the more effective you become in handling or dealing with them, especially if you just can't avoid being friends with them or communicating with them regularly. Karen Salmonson, a best-selling self-help book author and award-winning designer said, when you have a solution thinking mindset and choose to focus 80% of your thoughts or words on solutions, you will not only be heading more speedily to long-term successes, but you will immediately feel better at the moment. 4. They ignore or find a way to suppress negative self-talk. Although you might feel bad about how a person is treating you, be careful not to allow yourself to indulge in self-talk because it will make you overanalyze things in your head, making you feel bad more about how you are being treated. It sends you into a downward emotional spiral that is difficult to pull out of. You see, the truth is that negative self-talk is unrealistic and self-defeated. 5. They focus on their goals. 
Do you know how we said earlier that smart people are result-oriented people? Well, now not only are they focused on achieving success in all that they do, they are well-focused people. They focus a lot on their goals, which is why they might even notice when people are being difficult and hard to get along with. Venus Williams, an American professional tennis player, said, and I quote, I don't focus on what I'm up against. I focus on my goals and I try to ignore the rest. Summary. Dealing with difficult people can be so tedious. However, it is not impossible. Smart people have generated for themselves a formula to help deal with them. They establish boundaries and set limits. They instantly become aware of their emotions so that they know where and when to put up with such people. They focus more on solutions rather than the problem. Instead of allowing themselves to be disturbed by the idea of the difficult person around them, they think of how they can best handle their relationship with them. They suppress negative self-talk because they know that giving room to negative thoughts will only make them feel worse instead of helping them find a solution to the problem. They focus on their goals. Focusing on their goals help them take their minds off the trouble with a difficult friend. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.